Hey, and welcome back to Your Regina 120. I am Jeff Cliff, and this is a series of 120 videos of things that I learned as part of a Bachelor of Computer Science at the University of Regina. And today we're going to be talking about ARG, the kind of emotion, the, the presence of this you know, sudden shock of shame, this view of, oh shit, I did something wrong. Um, it is a adrenaline or cortisol thing. If you want to go to Google or look up on Wikipedia, adrenaline and cortisol. Um, it you know means there's a big kind of part of your brain, an old part of your brain, uh, is being activated to say, oh, you have fucked up, uh, and you can now see it, and your memory is now being used to permanently etch whatever it is that you saw into your brain that you did wrong. And so why is this notable? Why is this arr, you know, something that we should be pointing out as valuable in, in such a video series as this? Because arr is the sound that you make leveling up. If you view your life in terms of a role-playing game like Final Fantasy or Dungeons and Dragons with levels of you know, status uh, of you yourself, your character, who you are, what you're possible or what it is, possible for you to be, then arr, that is the sound of you gaining a level and becoming a better person if you take yourself seriously. Because you can see that you're contradicting yourself, going back to the last video on contradiction, and then you see it immediately, or even over time, but you perceive it, you go, you feel bad about it, and you know that you can do better, or that you've screwed up, and that you, if you have the chance, won't do it again, or at least you'll try not to. If you put in that just little bit of effort, that you can improve yourself as long as you are capable of feeling this, this, this shame. Again, going back to the video on Aristocles, uh, this kind of perception that you've wronged your own nature, that your soul, if you believe in a soul, has, you know, you've damaged it because of the way you've kind of done something, or the way you've thought about something, or there was something that you've said, and that you have to right yourself or, or build yourself back up again uh, from it. So for example, what are things that I've gone at? You know, I posted a virus to an anti-Scientology website. That was a dumb idea. I'm sorry I ever did it. I would never do it again. But the, pro the point is, is that I would never do it again. There's something different about the 2005 Jeff relative to the 2000 Jeff where the 2005 Jeff learned an important lesson about where not to post things that you don't want to be permanent, or that you would have reason with the context of the future to you know, not want to be permanent. You know, I wrote a terrible, terrible essay about intellectual property at one point, uh, using their own rhetoric to describe how not to manage the information commons. I would retract every single word that I wrote in that essay. But the, and again, this is another thing, an example of something that, you know, in retrospect, it's just horrible. You know, some of the poetry that I wrote wasn't all that good. And yet that, that perception of that it isn't good would mean that I would not write that same poetry today. Some of it, you, you know, could view as inspired or whatever. But when you can get to the point where you start being self-perceptive of your own mistakes, self-perceptive of what you could be enough that you stop accepting your past behavior, you stop accepting your past view of whatever it is you're thinking of, that you stop, you know, making the same mistakes, you have gained a level, you're becoming a more reasonable person, a better person. You know, I end up, you know, writing up an ASCII uh, art of a phallic object uh, and emailed it, uh, you know, that, that is an example of a mistake that I would have made as a young, you know, Jeff that I would probably not make again. Uh, th these are things that you, you just wouldn't do again. Uh, and wouldn't do because you've improved yourself, you've, you've kind of brought yourself up to this better context. You know, it's, everyone is going to make mistakes as they grow and as they participate in their life. Uh, and those mistakes are painful, some of them, to look back on yourself and to admit to yourself, oh yeah, I did that. I totally did that. Shit, I shouldn't have done that. Um, and this, this feeling right here, this is what you want to get at. This is what you want to strive for when you look back on yourself, when you think about yourself in terms of the contradictions as described in the last video. Uh, you want to get
get to the point where you're experiencing this often enough, not to the point of you know, making mistakes so that you can feel it later, that would be bad, but just to the point where you can, you, you, you're perceptive enough that when it's appropriate, you do feel it. You feel it, and it's painful, so that you can never do it again. So, uh, don't feel, I mean, feel bad about it, but feel bad to an appropriate level, and make sure you improve once you feel bad. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions or would like to admit uh, anything that you have screwed up in your life, uh, feel free to uh, post them anywhere where this video is posted. Uh, feel free to send Bitcoin, a payment system that isn't like PayPal, where you can lose all your money uh, by using it. Um, unless, of course, you're not careful with your security and have an uh, experience with your own control of your personal computer. Uh, you can send Bitcoin to uh, this address down here. And uh, as usual, uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. See you next one.